Welcome to Learn to Write in Different Fonts. Today's episode covers Comic Sans. Follow the link in the video description to download a practice sheet and follow along. We'll start by tracing the letters to help break away from your previous handwriting influence. While it's possible to learn the shape of this font with a regular ballpoint pin, I recommend a small round felt tip pin for best results. While it aims to look like handwriting, Comic Sans exists in some impossible realm between machine and human creation. That's why it's important to pay extra close attention to the longer, uncurved sections, called stems, because they're always bending ever so slightly in strange places, and at seemingly random angles. Not even the curved or rounded stroke section seen here on this lowercase c is free from these deviations. While handwriting this font, one is always acting against common sense. Comic Sans is surely the most controversial typeface I've covered so far. It's become a punchline of sorts for those exposed to more graceful typefaces. But perhaps because of its flaws, and its inclusion in the most basic computer programs, Comic Sans is surely the most sincere font in popular use. When you spot Comic Sans in the wild, you can likely be assured of true, folksy authenticity. Indeed, there is no in-between in Comic Sans usage. Some users are keenly aware of its history and use it ironically. When given the choice between a painfully forced wink or an honest thumbs up, I'll choose the latter. This restroom is for paying customer use only. Garage sale this Saturday in Evergreen Court. 7 a.m. No earlys. Now exporting mygreatmovie.wmb. Let's finish the last part of the worksheet. Due to copyright restrictions regarding the reproduction of typeface names, this must be written by yourself. Now, I'll put my new muscle memories to good use by writing the credits. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.